ことかオイラもまさかお前のお兄さんがアビスと一緒にいるなんて思わなかったぞ気をしっかり持ってくれよオイラはお前を信じてるお兄さんのこともな今はまだ受け入れられないかもしれないけど立ち止まるわけにはいかないそうだろそうだなお兄さん言ってたよなオイラたちに旅の終点にたどり着けってそれってきちんと話をしてくれる気があるってことだと思うぞ旅が何なのか終点が何なのかオイラたちで見つけないとな<笑>これからも案内役を頑張るぜでもこれからどこに行けばいいんだ旅を続けるならあたくさんある謎の答えが彼女からわかるかもなもう風神と眼神の二人にはあったからこの後はあでも前に総理から聞いたようにオイラもだ DU エコーにいるアツコさん確か稲妻から来た人だったよな Nice. Oh. Hello. Oh,、uh, I mean, good fortune, right? I'm still learning to talk like a local. <laughs> Is there anything I can help you with? We wanted to ask how do we get into Inazuma? Oh, so that's why you're here. Well, there is a way. Great! We came to the right person! But the chance of success is incredibly small. Huh. Then how did you get out of Inazuma in the first place? All I had to rely on was a little wooden raft that I'd put together myself. There was a storm raging ahead of me, and my pursuers were close on my tail. After I'd escaped their clutches,、True. I floated on the open no, ocean for, I don't know, how many days. <laughs> My rations and fresh、oh, water supplies soon ran out, and I remember getting to the point where I was sure I'd reached the end. Then, I blacked out. But, to my surprise, my journey didn't end there. Or to put it another way, a new beginning found me. Ah, that's right. What a horrible journey! The atmosphere is so stifling. The Kanjo Commission subjects everyone leaving or entering the nation to a protracted approval process, and I felt like I didn't belong there. Kanjo Commission? Along with the other two commissions, they oversee everything in Inazuma. One of the obligations of the Kanjo Commission is to conduct rigorous identity checks on all individuals leaving or entering Inazuma. Meanwhile, The Tenryo Commission is responsible for implementing the recently promulgated Vision Hunt Decree. They act like the executive arm of the Raiden Shogun's rule. Loyal, yet unfeeling. What I mean to say is, unless you have an extremely compelling reason to go to Inazuma, you should abandon your plans of trying to get there. <sighs> you should know that the sea around Inazuma is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and rain. And even if you did manage to find a way, you'd still have to produce the necessary documentation at the Rito Center for processing Outlanders. Otherwise, you'd be kicked out immediately. But if you really are set on going, there is one thing you could try. Uh, the raft idea sounds a little on the dangerous side. Plus, time I would definitely get seasick. That's not what I meant. You could ask someone from the Crux Fleet if they have some way of getting you to Inazuma. But it's an armed fleet, right? Why would they agree to a request like this? That part is up to you. If you're able to persuade their captain, Beto, then the hardest part is out of the way. Oh, yo, it's Beto! All right, let's freaking go. The Alpha is the flagship of the Crux Fleet. I think <laughs> it's currently like, anchored by Golden Stone Forest on a supply line. Oh, Beto! This、oh, might be your best chance. Finally. Anyway, I, I knew she was in here, but I, I didn't know if it was that soon. Alright, now I gotta go where? There. Uh oh. Um. Y'all are chill, right? How do you do this fucking thing? Uh. Oh, what the? There's like two dashes, and the dashes are pretty wide. Oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sent by s h i Zhang Li to come here. Hey, look, it's freaking. Oh, wait, yeah, I can get rid of the heart pit. Yeah, for the quick snatches. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. 
Hmm. Who have we got here? Wait, I know you. You're that traveler, aren't you? The one who fought against the Fatui and Osile, right? Oh my god. Have we met? <laughs> Ningguang told me about you. A traveler of great insight and remarkable skill has saved Liyue. She's a hard one to please, so praise from her is high praise indeed. I remember thinking at the time that it'd be good to meet you in person. Judging by the clothes on your back and this floating thing, I guess that time has come. <laughs> this floating hey! object? <laughs> My name's not floating thing, it's Paimon! Paimon? Hmm. What a fascinating being. You two give off not only the essence of wind and earth, but also of... Yes, the stars. Huh? The fragrance of what now? He knows. That's the weirdest compliment uh -oh. ever heard. Pay it no heed. I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate, not chance alone, that we should meet. And that gives our encounter meaning. And this must be your bard for hire? Ah, uh, I prefer other means of entertainment. This young man is Kaidahara Kazuha, Kaida a temporary Hara addition to my Kazuha. crew for reasons okay. I won't bore you with. Occasionally he opens his mouth and flowers come out instead of words. With this fine ship and the soft sea breeze, would it not be romantically irresponsible of me not to acknowledge it with a line or two of poetry? <laughs> well, I can't argue with that. Okay then. Once the clash is underway, I'll give you a chance to perform. Only if the mood takes me, of course. Poetry for poetry's sake tends to lack meaning. Hey, you don't want to pass this opportunity up too easily. Especially seeing as our great hero here might be in attendance. Oh, wait a minute. What's the clash? Uh, also, just to clarify, by great hero, do you mean... Huh? I thought you might be here to sign up. You're telling me you've never even heard of it? The Crux Clash is a martial arts tournament that I hold. There'll be a whole bunch of folks taking part to showcase their talents. There are two important rules. One, competitors must be renowned fighters. Two, you can't take part if you've got a vision. Otherwise, things get a little one-sided. <laughs> you must be feeling confident, but you might want to watch out. There are a few crouching tigers and hidden dragons lurking around in Liyue. And with Liyue's savior taking part in the tournament, now that's gonna turn a few heads. I think we can expect a healthy turnout this time. But we didn't come here to take part in a martial arts tournament. I'll sign up. Well, before you dismiss the idea completely, you might be interested to hear that the prize this time round is particularly sought after. Get this. It's a masterless vision. Supplied by myself, as a matter of fact. If the tournament champion can reawaken that vision, it belongs to them. Is there really such thing as a masterless vision? When a vision bearer dies, the light in their vision will fade away. But the shell that housed that light remains. As for whether this shell has any practical application, well, this remains to be seen. But my intuition tells me that while it remains in the world, it may just be possible for someone else to inherit it. Yep. And the way I see it, a vision is a badge of recognition from the gods. So if anyone's able to rekindle it, it's got to be an individual of exceptional strength and talent. Organizing the clash is my way of uncovering hidden talents. And hopefully this time, getting a vision to glow again. So if you don't have a vision, this is the perfect opportunity to get your hands on one of your very own. A vision is of no use to me. Yeah, we're interested in getting to Inazuma, not fighting in some tournament. Inazuma? You... want to go there? Well, why didn't you say so? Inazuma, no sweat. Oh. In that case, if you win the tournament, I'll give you a choice. Masterless vision, or a ticket to Inazuma aboard the Alcor. Up to you. You just want her to take part in your tournament! <laughs> What's wrong with that? The more talent we have, the better the tournament will be. I couldn't let a competitor like you fall through the net. What are we gonna do? <sighs> Looks like we pretty much have to do this tournament if we want to get to Inazuma, huh? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Great. Then let's get you signed up. Head to the tournament arena in Guyun Stone Forest. Kazuha and I will be over soon. It seems like it will only be a matter of time before the answer is revealed. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah, baby. Shao. Oh, the thing's in there. Shao. Sometimes. <laughs> 
about freaking energy from that. Jesus. Hey, there it is. Before we sign up, let's see who the other competitors are. Let's check the boys. Hello, are you here to compete in the Crux Clash? You bet I am. Have you put your names down yet? Well, I'd have a look at the entrance criteria if I were you. Then it'll allow just anyone to take part. The Clash is a comprehensive test of fighting ability. Anyone who turns up for show over skill is gonna get their butt handed to them. Nobody wants to see that, right? Uh, yeah, we heard a rule about that. So, I was wondering, are you a renowned fighter? <laughs> Me? Only a former runner-up in the Chihu Rock Freestyle Combat Summit. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh. Also, right there. Is that like the, most the freaking perfume lady? Hmm. What's her name? Yeah, what? something. Christ. Nonsense. Have you been living under a rock? It's been going on for years. There were plenty of competitors when I took part. Not to mention, I've helped the Millilith catch treasure hoarders before. There were two of them trying to escape. I soon sorted them out. They tried to sneak past me under the cover of darkness. <laughs> they didn't know what hit them. I planted a left hook on the skinnier one's face and sent him flying. Then, the big guy pulled out a knife. I stood my ground, Ooh, of course. A knife. The roundhouse kick sent the blade hurtling into a beam above us. Sounds, um, impressive. <laughs> I told you. Unarmed, outnumbered two to one, but I still got the upper hand. I'm not saying I came out completely unscathed, of course. But the fact remains that I did manage to subdue the both of them. And hand them over to the villain. I received quite the commentation. By choosing the correct options, I see uh -huh. But for us, even oh, yeah. four or five treasure hoarders at a time is all in a day's work. Mm-hmm. All right, we're going to keep looking around. Pathetic. I'll see you in the arena, but I don't plan on losing to a pair of children anytime soon. Eat shit. Oh, I'm not home alone. Later said that they had to be renowned fighters. Hmm. Who will we be up against? They're right there in the far corner. Hi there. Are you here for the Crux Clash too? That's right. Nothing beats real-life combat for honing your skills. That's what our master taught us. But this tournament is more than just a chance to put training into practice. It's also a chance for us to obtain the masterless vision. Exactly! With a vision, we'd quickly become our master's top students. This master of yours must be pretty incredible, huh? Are they someone famous? Famous? He's the founder of the Ling Shan clan. And his skills are unparalleled. Liang and I are both Route disciples of his. You probably wouldn't have heard of him. It was founded quite recently. The clan is nowhere near as famous as the master himself, anyway. He's got to be a grand master or something. He's created many different styles of kung fu, and countless other clans have borrowed extensively from him. To the Ling Shan clan, he teaches a special technique known as force dispersal. Force dispersal? It's a type of breathing exercise where you can train yourself to harness the energy around you and neutralize attacks without moving an inch. For example, our master can use it to alter the path of an attacking fist or change the direction of an incoming stone. All One time, he sent a challenger flying into the air without lifting a finger. Freaking ding ding, is that really possible? It sure is, but it's extremely difficult to cultivate this We've been training for ages you know, and we're still getting to grip with the like very basics. energy around no you, way it's literally just cheap. Uh, and that clearly it's literally not that naturally gifted, or we would have at least gotten the gist by now. Just, we don't start making progress yeah, soon, just we'll energy we'll run out of money to pay the tuition fees, and it's still like, nothing to show for all our training. It's literally just like, the tuition in the Chinese of course, perspective, this is a grand master we're talking about here. He doesn't have Take time to the waste. From the light you want face to face training? You. You've got to literally show just breathe in the stuff that the freaking <sighs> but here we are, are out. having trained under him directly all this Jeez. time without even a hint. It's freaking like God. Uh, Master is getting okay. increasingly Listen, impatient. There. Recently, though, we heard that a vision bearer joined the Guhu clan and made pretty much instant progress in their training. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So, anything. if we can get our hands on a vision too, maybe we can finally make our master proud. There may be other reasons why you can't seem to master this technique. Well, we have to try something new. Otherwise, we're stuck in the same situation. Exactly. It can't hurt to try. And if it turns out it does work, the Ling Shan clan will go down in history. Folks will come from far and wide. Heck, we could even become the dominant martial arts clan in all of Liyue. Can't fault you for trying. 
See you I in the so. arena. All right, see you there. Yeah, look, it's freaking her. I'm kidding. Hey, youngster. Are you here for the Crux Clash, too? If so, uh, seems I found myself I don't another like new how this guy sounds. So you're also here for the tournament? You better believe it. <laughs> you better be believe it. Think I can walk away Dr. Bio. Freaking. From oh. me, obtaining a vision oh. is the final and most important oh, piece please. in the puzzle that is my life. Oh. You want to be a hero? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not about what I want to do. This is about who I want to be. I am looking to become a perfect person. That's kind of I know how that sounds, but let me explain. I've lived a successful life so far without any setbacks. All right, no doubt. I've well. passed every exam I've ever taken, enjoyed numerous successful <laughs> business ventures, and seem to get on with just about everyone socially. In most people's eyes, we'll I all. am already the very embodiment of the perfect person. Though, of course, I'd never let the brains get to my head. I know I haven't reached perfection yet, because there's one thing I'm still missing, a vision. You have so much self-confidence. That's not important. I have a contact in the Crux fleet who was happy to vouch for me, so they very kindly made special arrangements on my behalf. I've also brought along a bit of an entourage for moral support. It's such a blessing, really, to have so many good friends in my neighborhood. I hate this of guy. Course, I also put in a few good days practice, concentrating mostly on rare and esoteric stats of Kung Fu. As a high achiever by nature, Kung I'm Fu confident more just I've done enough to guarantee my victory in this yoga. Like, I don't know. I can't really say much, but yeah, in terms of Kung Fu, it started more as a way of just, you know, just exercising. So... I'm sure you had it. <laughs> I seem to have gained another fan. Don't let my aura overwhelm you, though. You'll hey, need your wits about you. Shut it, Gong. Now then, Jesus. if you don't mind, I need to finish my shut pre competition it, routine. It's not too long now before you'll get to see me in action. We'll kill him. <laughs> so, to recap, we're up against an inflated ego, some gullible guys paying way too much for their kung fu classes, and another guy who's just. Really average. Yeah. Hmm. Seems like you've got a pretty good chance of winning this thing. Come on, let's go sign up. I hope everything's Whoops, I forgot to change it. Whoops, that's the wrong one. There we go. There we go, that's the right one. Two women who can step on me. There we go. End. Two tall glasses of water. Very nice. I am thirsty. Anyway, 